0715 in the morning of February the 21st, 1916. German artillery launch a fusillade of shells on the core wood, a battle tactic to prepare the ground for the armies to follow. The Germans had surprised the French. The Battle of Verdun had begun well for them. A century later, Verdun remains the most famous battle of the First World War. My grandfather was a German soldier in 1914 because Alsace was part of the German Empire. It is in part memory to him. Maybe the young will forget tomorrow, but it's thanks to these people that we are free. The battle, which cost the lives of 300,000, lasted 300 days. 130,000 of these soldiers, Germans and French, are buried in the impressive Douaumont ossuary. Verdun was a ruthless battle, fought exclusively between the French and Germans. The Germans believed that by launching their tactic of trommelfeuer, rolling fire and storms of steel at the start of the battle, it would soon be over. But this was trench warfare, and the two sides dug in. During the 300 days and nights between that February morning and December 1916, 26 million shells pounded the battlefield. That is six shells per square metre. It is considered as the most terrible of battles in the history of warfare. The losses, though, were less than at the Somme. The difference was that the Allies were also in action at the Somme, where the English lost 19,250 soldiers on the first day of fighting. New weapons like the tank were deployed for the first time at the Somme. It was also the first battle where film, which was to become an exceptional witness to conflicts, was first used to capture the horrors of war. But it is Verdun which remains the most potent symbol of the futility of war. After 300 days of fighting, the battle lines had hardly moved. The Germans never got within five kilometers of the city of Verdun. In 1984, the then German Chancellor Helmut Kohl and former French President Francois Mitterrand chose these killing fields to seal friendship between the two countries.